Cole took his first steps today. <laughs> Ken's doing a cardigan thing today. Two pretty big home projects. Walked out with almost 100 bucks. <laughs> Hey guys, hello, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another vlog. This vlog is actually like already <laughs> kind of filmed and edited and honestly a good chunk of this. Like I feel like a lot of vlogs tend to be, it's just like a random assortment of <laughs> footage from the last couple days, probably like the last week. So it's a little bit, it might seem a little bit all over the place because it kind of is, but there's also some good stuff and like fun content and random things like that. So I just kind of like strung it all together. But what I'm so excited about when I'm gonna start this vlog with, I don't have footage of it. So I feel like this is kind of typical because we didn't know it was gonna happen when it did, but Cole took his first steps today, which is crazy. It's January 10th, 2023. He, I mean, not like, super on his own but i feel like it's kind of typical ken was just kind of like holding him you know kind of like under his shoulders and he was sort of like walking along and then ken let go and he took like a step or two to grab onto the coffee table and then i tried to film it two other times and he fell and then the one time he kind of like not like fell into the coffee table but he kind of like caught his chest on the coffee table before he like caught himself so then he kind of cried a little bit so i don't have like footage of his actual first steps um but hopefully i can get some footage of him taking a couple steps kind of like the way he just did it so that i can insert that here so y'all can see it obviously won't be like the authentic footage of his first time but you guys can kind of see what he looks like and just kind of like how it was like kind of a recreation of his first couple steps which is so so crazy we are so excited we have been working so long with him just to, like get his confidence up like he can stand so well and walk so well with his walker when he's cruising all this stuff but he just has like no confidence to let go of something when he's like holding on to it like he just is so afraid to let go so we've been doing a lot of just like holding him like kind of under the arms and like holding his hands and stuff just trying to encourage him to take steps and stand without him physically holding something his hands are free we're just holding him and i think that's made a huge difference rather than him just like pushing the walker or you know the coffee table or the couch or whatever i feel like him starting to realize that he can do these things without physically having to touch something has been really like crucial for his confidence in these things and even before he did his first couple steps which was he's taking a nap right now but it was probably like an hour ago he was standing quite a few times this morning like without touching anything like he was either like between my legs just standing or he let go of something and it seems like he's not even really doing it on purpose to be honest it kind of seems like he's just kind of like realizing like oh wait i'm not holding on to something and then he kind of like grabs something after that he doesn't like lose his balance so i think it's very mental for him i think physically he can do it i think he's just a little nervous to do it but he took his first steps and he's been standing a ton today, like way more than he ever has. And we really just started practicing with him, like not holding on to something over the last like maybe three days. And I feel like just in that short amount of time, he is suddenly just like really like it's clicking and he's getting really confident and we're so, so excited for him. So I will hopefully have that footage to insert here for you guys of him taking a couple steps. See if I can trim Kill's hair a little bit. The moon, yeah, the moon, it's Luna. Just like these front pieces, but I've never done this. I don't know if this is gonna be terrible. But I cut Ken's hair, so I'm kind of a professional. I don't know. Do you need something to like hold on? Here, do you want to play with the comb? Okay, it doesn't look bad or anything. No. Do you think that helps? Sure. See? Yeah, I would just leave it. <laughs> you want to stop? Yeah, don't stop hacking at it. No, I'm not hacking. Yeah. It just took like a tiny bit of length though. Oh yeah, see? Wow, that looks really good. That's exactly what I wanted. Well, good. That was so easy. Nice. Do you like it? 
<laughs> nice. <laughs> Time for your taste test. What do you think? It's really good. It's super good. I think I brewed it well. So I'm really happy. There's with nothing it. else in there. It's literally just black. It's just black. But it's super delicious. I mean, it's got some really good flavor. Okay. Colin, what's your reveal? What do you think, <laughs> boy? This will keep you up. Oh, wow. Okay. He probably could use. Some caffeine today. He woke up at five o'clock in the morning, so things are going well. Wow. I don't drink black coffee, so. There are so many birds. You want to see? The it's bird? not bad. Cole is not wanting to take his nap, even though he literally got up at five a.m. I don't know what's going on, but I figured I would show y'all as I literally heat up my coffee in the microwave right now. I thought I'd give y'all. A little more of an overview of the coffee that Ken was having this morning. He had already made my coffee last night before he opened this. We got this sent over. This is not sponsored or anything, but we got this sent over from Altruistic Joe. And it's a veteran-owned small business. And they make so many different kinds of coffee. Ken, even more so than me, is a real big like whole bean coffee connoisseur. He is like obsessed. I'm always getting him like new types of coffee. He's just like obsessed with coffee. So I love surprising him with interesting like different coffees. And they have so many cool, interesting blends like this big iron blend. I just think the names are also so funny. And the notes in so many of these are so interesting. This is like milk, chocolate, dried fruit, and it's like smoky. So that one I'm super, super excited about. The one that he tried this morning is cream and crimson blend which he loves like caramel flavor. So that's the one that I feel like that makes sense that he would go for that one first. And then this one is smoky and chocolatey as well. So like, you, I feel like you never really hear of coffee is called like smokehouse. Anything smoky to me, like barbecue, like I just go for anything smoky. So that sounds amazing. And then I think Ken's gonna really love this one cause he loves espresso. And the fact that this one's like a brown sugar and cocoa kind of flavor is right up his alley, but they have so many different flavors and I love their packaging. It's like so simple, but really cute. It has the roast date on here as well, which I also really love to see because then you can know like what you're getting is super, super fresh. Like this was roasted like, a week ago, <laughs> which is so cool. Like it's so, so fresh. And what I think is so cool is that they donate a percentage of their proceeds to charitable organizations, which I feel like we can all always get behind like spending our money on like small businesses, but especially ones that like to give back. Like I feel like everyone is kind of winning in that scenario. So I will have them linked down below for y'all as well. If I have a coupon code, I will put it down there as well. We are just so excited. I'll continue to update y'all as we try them on Instagram and in the vlogs and stuff like that. But Ken really loved this this morning. Even I tried it and for a black coffee, I didn't mind it. I like mine light and sweet for sure, but this had really good flavor and it was definitely not like bitter or anything. That's typically what I really don't like about black coffee, but this had really good, like I feel like it was like a creamy kind of flavor. So yeah, I'm so excited about these. These would be such a good option to try if you like to kind of like switch it up. Wow, Ken just came home and surprised me with a Starbucks and cheese fries. Literally does not get better than that. Best human ever. Thanks babe. Oh, you're totally out of focus. Look at these nap lines <laughs> on this face. As we're sitting on the counter having some chickpea chips. Did you have a good nap? I think your face says definitely so. How cute is this little crew neck, by the way? Well, despite the drool. Big moment, Coley. You're gonna be so mad about this. It's officially time to block off the stairs. So it's prison for Cole and also for Willie. Oh boy, Coley. Look at this little fit. We got the hat and the vest now. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh boy. I just love watching him play independently, especially when he just like reads books to himself. <laughs> Don't win the mess. I actually recently organized in there. But he is so cute. He'll just like sit in this chair or like hang out in this corner. And he's good all by himself. Are you reorganizing the books? Are those your books? Booka, booka, booka. Yeah. You want to read it? Where's Pout Pout? Where is Pout Pout? 
Coley, I think Pow Pow's over here. <laughs> mama, mama, mama. <laughs> Just comes in, guns playing. Like, ah! Ah! <laughs> mama, mama. More what? Yeah. More chocolate? No. Please? <laughs> Is that nummy, 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 Such nummy? Such a greed dog. We would, didn't even tell him we were having dessert and he just figured it out and ran over here and by ran. Yeah, he really just nice. knows. Oh, they're sitting munching something. <laughs> Is it nummy, nummy, nummy? Y'all better be sharing with me. Mama. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this greed dog take a bite. <laughs> His mouth was literally like open before he even had it available. Mm. Oh, jeez. Wow. You having fun? This chair is the best thing ever. Not for sitting, but just for playing in general. Wow, cool. Great job. Uh oh. Good job, honey. Good boy. All right, we're on our way for a little family day. I wanted to show my little air wrap situation. I did it a couple hours ago at this point, and I'm liking it. I just don't know how long it's going to last because it's kind of the issue I've been having, like everyone else, when they first try um, one of these tools. But I think I'm gonna go get my hair cut. It's Saturday, so I think on Monday. I'm gonna try to get my hair cut and I wanna like cut a lot, like a lot, like a lot. So I'm really excited for that. It'll just be so much lower maintenance and I feel like my hairstyle is just kind of across the board like this, my like regular curls, just like drying my hair, brushing my hair, like I feel like it'll be so much easier, especially going into like the summer and stuff. I just, I like having long hair, but like this is, this is too long. Like it literally goes down to like my belly button when I'm sitting. So I think it's time just kind of not go like crazy short, you know, but yeah, you got water. <laughs> you want to say hi? Hi, honey. <laughs> Good boy. He got a big boy water bottle now and he's pretty excited. It's just like mama's water bottle, huh? Mama. Yeah, it's just like mama's. But it's perfect for a little baby. Mama, mama. Mama, mama. Mama. Yeah. Ken's doing a cardigan thing today. Let's show you if it, oh you didn't put on your your combat boots. No. Oh, that would have been very aesthetic. Look at him, uh, all stylish. Yo, this guy had no clothes before he met me, now he wears cardigans, so. How about it? I would like to take full credit. It only took you seven years to get me in that cardigan. <laughs> However, yeah, I'm just doing sneakers and flares, a little crop top, my Lulu, and a new Sherpa that I'm obsessed with, and my curls, which I'm also very, Obsessed with this big guy. Whoa. Whoa. I like to be educated, but I'm so frustrated. Hello to my loneliness. I guess that ignorance is bliss. Take me back to be Did you have a cookie? <laughs> Was it good? Y'all mean? Yeah, look at this outfit. No, 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 no. What happened? You want fries? 
Let's go. Let's go. Oh, crash. Crash. We're having one of those mornings where toys are no fun. Only non toys are interesting. Holly, what do you got? Is that a spoon? Uh oh. Where's your spoon? Oh boy. That's heavy. It's heavy. <laughs> Hey y'all, good morning. I'm actually editing this video and I wanted to give a little update on my air wrap. I keep calling it an air wrap. I have the shark one, the flex style, so it's not like the Dyson air wrap, but it's the same kind of, obviously, like tools. So that's just what I call it to make it easier. But I wanted to give a little update because I think I kind of figured it out a little bit. I think I'm gonna probably do either a whole video or just like an extended like vlog segment kind of showing um sort of like what I've tried and sort of figured out in terms of getting these air wrappy kind of like big bouncy curls to last. But I'm on day three, right? I did that Saturday and Sunday. Yeah, so this is day three. And I think they still look so, so good. The first time I did them, they didn't last like at all. And even the second time they didn't last very well. But there was, there's reasons, like I kind of know why, and obviously I feel like with this tool in particular, pretty much anyone that you meet that has tried it has had to play around with it. There's definitely a significant learning curve, but check these out. I've literally slept on them for multiple days and brushed them out a whole bunch of times, and I feel like they look really, really nice. Like they're not obviously like super, super curly, but they're just kind of like big flowy waves. It looks like so nice in a ponytail. It obviously looks good just kind of down. And all I did, like I said, I'm gonna do like a longer video kind of like explaining this better, but I feel like the trick is obviously like the products that you're using and the technique and obviously like there's a lot of things to it. But I feel like what's made the biggest difference in terms of the longevity is I've been basically just like twisting my hair back like this on both sides, like doing one side like this and then the other side like that and then just using like a little claw clip and just clipping it up you might have even seen in inst on Instagram or I don't know if I have any vlog clips with my hair like it looks like, kind of weird but I just twist it back like in the direction of the curls just kind of loosely like not too tight because then it can kind of get sort of like kinky looking and sort of almost like mess up the curl but if you kind of just do like a pretty loose twist and then just like clip it up on both sides and just like leave it there you can actually even what i've done before is actually just like tied it at the bottom just twisted it back did the same thing on the other one and then just tied them at the bottom like this but in the back you can do either way i just feel like doing it with the clip um and like putting it kind of up on your head i think makes it last a little bit better than having it like down and kind of like sleeping on it if that makes sense but i feel like that's really helped with the longevity when you first take it out of that clip at least for me it's like still kind of a little bit weird looking it does get kinky because of the claw clip but once i brush it out and like just let it sit for a second it literally just goes back to its normal looking like waves and it looks so nice like it hasn't i haven't had to like touch it up at all i haven't put any more product or any more hairspray or anything like that and it just looks so nice i think it just looks so pretty and i literally haven't had to do anything with it other than just to sleep with it like that so i feel like i kind of figured out a way to make it last obviously that's kind of like a trick they don't just like last on their own but i think it's obviously worth it if you're going to spend the time to do the whole air wrap situation to kind of like put it in a certain way during the night to like keep them from getting ruined and now I'm literally obsessed. Like, this looks so good. I've also been talking a lot about getting my hair cut, and I I might go tomorrow because my hair is just, like, it's, like, ridiculously long. I mean, I think you can tell, like, this is, like, past my bra, like, my belly button's right here. So, like, it's very long, and I do like my hair long. I pretty much always had it very long, but it's almost, like, too long to the point where, like, it's just kind of, like, grown out. It doesn't have a lot to it. Like, my layers are so grown out. It just takes, obviously, forever to dry. It's kind of hard to keep style in it, which is why I'm so impressed that this is working because my hair is just long and heavy, and, like, you can't really have a lot of layers when your hair is, like, this long. So I kind of want to cut it so it's, like, a little bit more manageable, still has some length it so I can style it but now that I've done this and I've been having these curls in for the last couple of days I'm like wait this looks so nice and it just looks really healthy and bouncy and I kind of like it like this nice and long so I feel like now that I literally just so happen to have figured out the air wrap like 
three days before I plan on getting my hair cut. Now I feel like it's making me second guess wanting to get my hair cut. So, I don't know. Anyway, if I do end up getting my hair cut, I will definitely do an update in either this vlog or another vlog. We also have two pretty big home projects that are going down, one this week and one next week. So, I'll be vlogging that as well. I'm not sure if that's going to be in this vlog or another one, but I, there's we don't have like a whole lot going on right now in terms of like big plans or anything. So, the vlogs I feel like don't have the most exciting content, but we are very excited for these home projects. And if I get my hair cut, that'll be exciting to me because I haven't cut it in like probably a year. Honestly, maybe a little bit less, but it's, it's been a while. <laughs> Thankfully, it's still like really healthy, but like I just, I'm getting a little sick of it. Also, one more um little like a random update that I wanted to include this vlog because I feel like this very rarely happens, but um, we dropped off a pretty big box to um, Play-Doh's yesterday and I feel like Play-Doh's is like super hit or miss. I'm sure if you ever go there, you know, like sometimes they'll take a bunch of stuff, sometimes they'll take like nothing and then sometimes you get a bunch of money, sometimes you get none and I feel like lately I've been going and getting like, you know, a couple of things taken and it's been, you know, like, I don't know, 20 bucks here and there. But Ken um, went and picked it up along with a dinner last night and I didn't really know like what to expect I just like put basically anything I'm decluttering or anything like that I just like kind of collect over a couple weeks a couple months and then just like make a big trip and then we do that like every so often and he went to pick it up and I was like let me know what they say and he's like, they just gave me almost $100. Like, did you leave some Lululemon in there on accident or something like that? And obviously I didn't. I like went through the whole box before we brought it over there. But yeah, we dropped off a bunch of stuff and walked out with almost 100 bucks, which I was pretty excited about. Because like I said, I typically expect like maybe 20. Like if I'm lucky, they'll take like five things and you get like 20 bucks. And I know they like give you very little for each piece. For me, like I typically, that's the stuff I'm going to take to donate. But I go to Play-Doh's first and then whatever Play-Doh's doesn't take, I take to um, Goodwill or Salvation Army or whatever so it's like anything that I can get anything for I might as well get and then just donate whatever's left over or I give it to my sister so I was very excited and surprised that we got like triple digits just about from Play-Doh's off of a handful of things so that was our best like Play-Doh's trip that we've had uh, no someone just took an only 45 minute nap what's that about sir that's about a third of the approved length all right, we're gonna attempt to make some peanut butter, you can sit with us, banana muffins, because we have these bananas that are quite ripe, except I literally can't stand measuring, so usually anything I bake, well, I usually burn it, <laughs> I also don't like measure properly. So, we're gonna do our best. Chloe, you want some muffins? Able to tell by like a texture, so it's not that serious. <laughs> I feel like whenever a recipe calls for cinnamon, I like to just do pumpkin pie spice instead because <laughs> it has the same kind of vibes, but I like the flavor of it much better. How about you, baby? Are you excited about these muffins? What are you waving at? Hey, big boy. I just realized I really should have mashed <laughs> the bananas up before. <laughs> I put all the other ingredients in. What's the problem? You ready, buddy? Okay, I gotta open this. Is this the white sand? Ken got a little like terrarium kit for Christmas. So we went and bought that succulent, and he's about to do it. White sand for beachy look. Cole is here as an audience member. Chloe, does this remind you of the beach? He is fascinated. No, I think he's just tired. No, this is fascination. Is this what will put you down for a nap? Oh, look at him. <laughs> he's gonna go to sleep. Oh my god, he's actually gonna go to sleep. <laughs> Are you gonna fall asleep in a chair? That will be literally the first time in your life. Next, Dad. Really? You goofy? 
Next time, grab <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> you goofy. You goofy goof. <laughs> I think he was asleep. <laughs> I think he sat with him and they watched trash everything. Probably, yeah. All right, we're adding the rocks, the gravel, or drainage. Choose your favorite air, plant, or succulent. We have chosen a, a large tilacentia. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Dory. Cody! Dory, Dory, Dory. Right, Cole really likes spicy stuff, so I'm gonna try a little hot sauce and see what he thinks. Oh, that's not good, huh? You, you don't like it? <laughs> you got some sugar? Okay, have some milk. Milk is good for hot sauce. Oh, sorry, go <laughs> on. We gotta shake it. We gotta shake it up. Yeah, shake, 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 shake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shake, 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 shake. Shake, 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 He's with balls, he's like a dog. You can't see these balls not much. Yeah. Colin's watching with me. He and I are matching too. His little sweatshirt says mini. And mine's his mama. Ken just literally missed and it bounced back in here. Fatal mistake potentially for Coley. Look at these shoes. How freaking funny are these? They're like high top Converse, but they're like so much cuter. You want fries? Here you go. Just stopped and did a quick return and now we're headed home. I think this guy might need to go down for a nap and yes, I literally still sit in the back with him. <laughs> Mostly just because I like to, because I get to like just hang out with him, but also in case he needs water or a snack, I'm available to help him out. But anyway, I think we're gonna go ahead and wrap up this vlog. I feel like I had a lot of random footage, but hopefully it all came together. And Cola, you had such a big day taking your first steps. Big moment for you. So, anyway, thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed, if you would <laughs> like to subscribe, sorry, it's so loud. We would love to have you. We have so much fun here. And until next time, I will see y'all in our next video. Bye, guys.